our world exists quite different from our own, and there a battle rages out of control. A battle between good and evil, between green and tan. Attacking by land, by sea, and by air. The Tan army launched a surprise attack against unsuspecting neighboring nations. They leave in their wake a path of destruction, the likes of which have never been seen. In but a matter of days, once proud townships have fallen under the tyrannical boot heel of General Plastro, the Tan nation's ruthless dictator whose vision is to be the supreme ruler of all the world. As the Tan war machine rolls across the land, nation after nation succumbs to their oppressive rule while the Tan army mercilessly slaughter all they encounter. But what of our boys on the front line, representing all the nations of the Alliance, the Green Army, led by Colonel Happy Jack Grimm, have mobilized forces and headed for the front line. And we will not stop until General Plasco and his Tan army are defeated. Outnumbered, the Green Army fights tooth and nail to preserve our freedom. So our heroes battle to let justice arise from tyranny and oppression, fighting day in and day out to deliver us all from the tan menace. We can only join together for a swift victory and a speedy homecoming. for his country. He won it by making the tan soldier melt for his country. Now, some of you may have heard that this war is unwinnable, that the tan army has developed amazing weapons of destruction, that going up against them is suicide. Well, I say that's a load of hooey. Believe me, you know exactly what to do when you step into a puddle of melted plastic that used to be your best friend. Now I'm not gonna lie and tell you this will be easy. They've got us outgunned and outnumbered 50 to one. <laughs> Sounds like good odds to me. The 10 are the enemy. Wade into them. Melt their plastic. War is not black and white, it is green and 10. All right then, that's all I gotta say. Oh, and one more thing. I want you boys to know that I'll be proud to lead you to victory. Dismissed. What is up, people? Mr. Faliar's Gaming here bringing you a new game. Army Men Sarge's Heroes. This is one of my favorite games from the PlayStation 1 era. We will start with Bootcamp. Okay, now I'll be honest, I have completely forgotten um, the controls. So, it's going to be a little difficult to remember, okay. Uh, that's going side by side. Oops. Okay. So I have to... That's the... Oh, boy. Fire. Oops. Now see? There we go, they're done. I don't think I actually have to, uh... Do this, do I? I mean, get rid of all of them? I don't know. I did it anyway. Who cares? 
<clears throat> Oof. Using the analog, I mean the D-pad instead of the analog is very difficult. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's that. So the sniper was over here then. Okay. There we go. Four for four there. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was another one over here. Yeah. Oh man, this is gonna take some getting used to. Wow. <laughs> the, uh, the controls have definitely aged. Like you can see that I'm uh, actually aiming at this guy, but somehow it's a miss. So I have to go to the side slightly. So I'd be dead right now. Okay, that's the jump. Okay, that's that. Good. Getting the controls. Okay, that's to okay. Uh, wow. Come on. I missed, really. talk to you it's everything huh okay that's the exit so the entrance is here I gotta do the obstacle course at least I think I have to Oh man, this is some memories right here. If I can do this, I should be fine. It's just the aiming. Oh, oh. That was close. And there we go. Ooh, now I gotta get in the tank. Got rid of him. this one grenades okay boom I remember this this is so cool boom it only took one out, really. 
Why? Okay, it showed it was right on top of him, but that doesn't make sense. Eh, let's just blow this guy up. Should be like one or two more over here. I think. Yeah. Okay, machine gun here. One of the easiest ones. <laughs> Okay, this was what? Mortar? Okay. Wonder why it doesn't go as far as it shows it's supposed to. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't go as far as it's supposed to, as it shows it's supposed to. Is that a glitch or what? Pretty sure it is. Mine sweeper. What does that say? Oh. Found one mine. I know there's more than that. There we go. You know what? I know a better way of finding mines. See? This works better. <laughs> oh, man. You can also do this. Really blow them all up. There. I found them. Now it's time to go back. Man, I'm sorry I'm not very energetic about this, but I, believe me, I'm very, very excited to play this. Even if my voice doesn't sound like it, that's just how my voice is, I'm sorry. Okay, is there a way to actually... How do you bring up the map? There we go. Awesome. There we go. Boom! And that's it. That seems to be it, yep. Well, uh... First episode was boot camp. I'm actually going to end it here. Um, for now. Uh, I was planning on doing the first part in this episode, but I'm not exactly sure how long that's going to last. Um... So yeah, next next episode will actually be the first 
um, part of the campaign. So... Okay, why is there three unlocked? Did I play this a long time ago on my PS3? Huh, must be. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Yeah, so I'll do it in the next episode, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!